Please be seated. Let us pray. The Lord be with you. Let us pray together. O God who gave us birth, you are ever more ready to hear than we are to pray. You know our needs before we ask. Give us now your grace that as we shrink before the mystery of death, we may see the light of eternity. Eternal God, we praise you for the great company of all those who have finished their course in faith and now rest from their labor. We praise you for your child, Richard Lee Willard, whom you have received unto yourself. Grant peace to him and all who have died in your name. Let perpetual light shine upon them. Strengthen our belief to the end that your presence may lead us through our years and bring us at last with them into the joy of your home, not made with hands, but eternal in the heavens. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As we go to the scriptures for words of comfort and hope, I invite you to open your hymnals again, if you would, to number 137. As we read responsively a psalm that is one we often turn to, Psalm 23, we will read responsively. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The second reading from the Psalms is Psalm 84, a psalm that talks about the sanctuary where one comes to worship God and who finds a home in that sanctuary. Lee Willard found his home in this sanctuary and was here faithfully. Hear these words. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts! My soul longs, indeed it faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and flesh sing for joy to the living God. O Lord of hosts, my ruler and my God, at your altars even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, ever singing your praise. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the highways to Zion. As they go through the valley of tears, they make it a place of springs. The early rain also covers it with pools. They go from strength to strength. The God of gods will be seen in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Behold our shield, O God. Look upon the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield and bestows favor and honor. No good thing does the Lord withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed are those who trust in you. 